Today I'm going to show you how to create a customized planner like this one with hyperlinks. So if you click in any of the items that you see on the table of contents, it will take you directly to a specific page on the document. This tutorial is going to help you if you are looking forward to create a personalized planner so you can organize all your daily tasks or if you're looking forward to create a digital product that you can sell. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Let's start by creating our document. So let's go to canva.com and click on create a design. On this search box, let's type A4 and we're going to select the option that Canva is going to give us over here, A4 document. Canva is going to open an empty document and we're going to start designing from here. What we're going to do first is to create a color palette, have a font selection, maybe a photo selection as well if you are planning on using photos on your document or your planner. And finally, you also will need to have a list of sections that you want to include in your planner. I already went ahead and have that ready. So let me go to the document that I have ready for you guys. Here I have five different colors. I have one white, so you cannot see it, but I have my color palette ready. These are just simple circle shapes. You can press the key C to create a circle and then you can change the color from here. You can add a specific hex code if you have a color palette ready or you can create your color palette by moving this slider or this color picker over here and then changing the hue. So I have my color palette ready, I have my font selection, I have only two fonts, I think that's gonna be enough for my project. I have these three photos that I'm going to use. If you pay attention, these three photos have the same style or the same aesthetic, so they're going to go well together. And lastly, I also have a list of sections table of contents, a calendar, month cover, monthly planner, and weekly planner. Now that you have all of these elements ready, let's start. Let's create a new page and we're going to start creating our planner from the page number two. And this because I want to have all these elements at hand on the first page. At the end, we can delete it, so don't worry about it. Let's go to page number two and create our planner cover. I'm going for a minimalistic style, so I'll just change the background color. And as you can see, my color palette is showing in here because the colors that I have on my circles are going to be at hand on the document colors. So that's why I like to have them on the page number one. That's a little trick that may help you. So let's click here. I'm going to select this color for the background. And now I'll add a text box. So by pressing T, have a text box here. I'm gonna change the size and I'm going to change the font to Tenor Sans. That's my title font and call it Planner 2022 make it bigger and I think I'm gonna change the font color to white. Also we can change the line spacing so let's adjust it and position to middle. Okay we have our planner cover ready so let's go back to the page number one. I'm going to check again my list of sections and the next page or the next section that I'm going to create is a calendar. So let's go below add a new page going to delete this background. I think I'm going to use a white background for this one. Let's say that this project that I'm creating right now, it's for personal use. So I'm going to use a template available in Canva. Let's go to templates. This section should be open already. If not, just click on it and type calendar. 2022 hit enter and here you have a selection of different calendars already made some of them are for pro users and some other are free so i guess i will go for this one and i will just personalize or customize the colors and fonts so they look more cohesive with my planner and here i want to mention something very important because if you are planning to sell this planner as a digital product you should create your designs from zero so do not use the templates available in Canva. If you were to create a calendar like this one you should create every single text box on the calendar by yourself and create the layouts by yourself. In this case I'm using a template available in Canva not to make this video this tutorial too long. So 
I used a template and I'm going to change the fonts. So let me go for the fonts that I selected for my planner and I'm going to select all of these text boxes and go for Biryani Ultralight. Let's adjust some of the colors on this template. So this one, I'm also going to change the color on these text boxes. So let's go for this one, change all. And let's go again to page number one to see which other sections we need to create. Okay, so I just realized that I missed the table of contents, which is the first page that I want to have ready on my planner. So let's add a new page and let's move it upwards because I want to be that one, the first section on my planner. For this, we are going to add a text box. So if you don't want to change the font and the color and size, every time just select a text box that you already created, Control C, and then go to your empty page, Control V. Okay, so change the text, table of contents. And then from here, you can start creating your layout. So I guess I want this text over here and then let's add a text box to create our individual items so let's say that page number two I'm going to align this one to the right let's make it bigger and now let's duplicate this text box aligned to the left and then add your section so this one will be the calendar okay so this one has the all cap selected let's remove it and then from here you can start duplicating your text boxes so I guess on page number three we will have access to our month January and then we can change these page numbers later on so let's leave it as maybe eight for february and then you will continue populating your table of contents by creating a entry for every single month I have my table of contents ready, but I still want to add a photo to this page. I'm going to use one of the selections that I have already placed on page number one. So I'm just going to Ctrl C and Ctrl V on my table of contents. I'm going to adjust the placement and the size. As you can see, the image is on top of my text box. So just go to position and backwards if that happens to you. Okay, now let's go to page number one. We have already the table of contents, we have our calendar, and we are going to create our month cover. For this one, I'm also going to use one of these photos, so I'm just going to Ctrl C, go below, add a page, Ctrl V, because I already have my photo there on the clipboard, delete the background color, make this photo bigger, and I'm going to use the trick that I mentioned before of just copying one of the text boxes and pasting it on your design so you don't have to change the font, color and everything again and again. So we have the title and I'm going to change the text for my month. So January, okay, so I have my month cover ready. Let's go back to our sections, monthly planner. Okay, for this next page, I would like to have some sections in which I can add my monthly goals. So. Let's do again the title trick. Let's put it over here. Let's change the title for January goals. Perfect. And now let's start adding our sections. So to do this, let's go up. Let's grab one of these text boxes and I will write goal one. Now by pressing R, we will add a text box to our design and let's change the color to this one and now because i want to have three goals on this page i'm just going to duplicate this change the text and do the same for goal number three and finally i will have another section to add extra notes I'm going to make this one in a different color so it looks different from the goals perfect and now we are going to create our final section which is the weekly planner 
So let's go below again, add a new page. Let's copy the title, paste it in here and then name this one weekly planner. Going to make this title smaller because we are going to add many elements in here. Let's go back up and select one of these text boxes to start creating our daily sections. So let's go for Monday. Let's remove the caps, make it bigger. And now we're going to add lines so we can have some sections where we can type or write. So by pressing the L key, you already have a line on your design and you can adjust the weight and the color as well. You can also create different styles of lines. I think I'm gonna leave it like this and change the color for this one. Going to duplicate it. Every time that I duplicate a element, I just press Alt or Option and then I just drag the element. Now to make sure that these lines are evenly spaced, go to Option and click on Tidy Up. So now we have the same space between each line. And now that I have this section ready, let's select all of them and duplicate it. And then you can just change the name of these text boxes. Okay, so I have my weekly planner ready and those are all the sections that I planned to create for <laughs> this planner. Now let's go to the grid view because for each month we would like to have five weeks. So five weekly planner and to do this, select the weekly planner, control C or command C and control V five times. So one, two, three, actually four times because we already have one page here. Now we have the January section ready and in order for us to create the planner much faster and create the following months, we are going to select all the pages that contain the monthly section. So let's do it like this. Then we're going to Control C, Control V and as you can see, we have another monthly section ready. So let's go to the month cover and let's change the name of January to February. We can change the photo as well on this cover. So let's select this one that we have ready on the first page. Okay, let's go to February, Control V and position this photo over here. You can follow the same process to create the following months, but I'm gonna stop here because I want to show you how to link or create the hyperlinks so you can connect the table of contents to each section or each month on the planner. And before we start adding the hyperlinks on the table of contents, I think we can delete the first page because we don't need it anymore. And like this, we can see easily in which page each of our sections is located on. So I can see that my calendar is on page number three. So I can start changing the names here for the final number of the page. So calendar is on my page number three. I select then the calendar text box, go to hyperlink or link and then connect the page number three. Then January is on the page number four. Let me just double check. Yeah, January starts on page number four. So let me go to my table of contents. I just need to update the number here and then link January to page number four. You're going to do exactly the same for the following months. February, page 11. So I'm going to update the number here to 11 and then February, link page 11. Okay, in here we will need to also align the two text boxes to middle and I'm going to group them. I'm going to do the same process for each section here, so position, middle, group, and this is going to help us align later on the text boxes that we're going to have in the table of contents. I have the table of contents ready, I have all the hyperlinks or links in every single section, and now we are ready to download this design. I'm going to show you how to do it. But before, I want to read a comment. This one is from Heather and she says, amazing how clearly you explain everything. Really grateful for this channel. Thank you, thank you so much for this comment. We are very thankful to have you guys here in the channel. We really appreciate every single comment you leave us. So thank you so much to you. And let's go back to the tutorial. 
I want to show you how you can download this document. So let's go to the navigation bar on top. Let's click on this arrow that is pointing down. Here Canva opens this window and on file type we're going to select PDF. You can select any of these two options. If you're going to use this planner as a digital file, go for PDF standard. And if you are going to print it, use PDF print. So let's go for standard and we're going to select all pages, done and then download. Here I have the planner that I just downloaded from Canva as a PDF format, so just want to show you quickly how it looks and I want to show you as well how the table of content works. So let me just click on calendar, it will take me to the calendar page or if I click on January, it will take me to the January section and it will happen the same again and again if you click on the other sections. And to thank those of you who stayed until the end, I created a template of this planner that we just created and I'm going to leave the link in the description. That template is free for everyone to use and if you want to keep learning about Canva, I'm gonna leave you guys a playlist over here and also a link here so you can access our 10 Canva courses for free. I think this is it for today. If you liked the video, remember to give us a thumbs up and to follow our channel. I really hope that you have a good day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!